Okay, so this is question five. And before you have a go at this question, make sure you have practiced your trigonometric equations and trigonometric identities. So if you'd like extra practice on that, that's my video 14 for part A. Video 16 will be helpful for part B. So the first part, question 5a, is asking us to solve a trigonometric equation, a simple one with one trigonometric function and equal to a specific value. And it's asking to solve it in a specific region. So the angle is between 270 and 360 degrees. So we need to find our answer in that region. So the first thing I would do in a simple trigonometric equation in question is sketch my trigonometric function. So I'm gonna draw the graph of sine theta between negative 90, just to give a sense of where it will be, through 90, 180, 270, and 360. So 90 degrees, sine of 90 is one, that's the maximum point. Sine of 180 degrees is zero. Sine of 270 degrees is negative one. That's at the minimum point, and so is sine of negative 90. And sine of 360 is back at zero. So we need to find out when the sine curve has a value of negative 0.6, which is about there. The closest value to the y-axis, the smallest x value, um, the smallest, the closest to zero, is this value here. And you will get that value from doing the inverse sine of negative 0.6, which is our first step trying to find the angle and that is negative 36.9 degrees. So that's that value there, negative 36.9 degrees. But we don't want that value. We want the angle, not this one, although this is a solution, but it's not in the region we want. We want this angle here. If we wanted this angle here, we would simply do 180 degrees add 36.9, because this distance, 36.9, is the same distance as the distance from 180 up. So that would add 36.9 to 180. This distance is also 36.9, so I would subtract 36.9 from 360. But the quickest way of doing that is just simply, this answer repeats again here 360 degrees later, and it would repeat every 360 degrees there would be a new solution. So I simply have to add 360 degrees to this which is the same as doing 360 subtract 36.9. So my solution for theta, since it's between 270 and 360 degrees, is 323 degrees to the nearest whole number, okay, to three significant figures. So that's part A. Part B says using Pythagoras' theorem, determine the exact value of tan theta. Okay. So, we are given the value of sine theta. I know that in one of my trigonometric identities that tan theta is always equal to, so this is an identity, so it's always equal to sine theta divided by cosine theta. That is always true. So if I knew cosine theta, I could find tan theta because, since I already have sine theta. The question is, how do I find cosine theta based on sine theta? Well, Pythagoras' theorem is going to help us with this because Pythagoras' theorem gives us one of the trigon trigonometric identities. The trigonometric identity that sine squared of theta plus cosine squared of theta is always equal to one, is based on the unit circle and is based on using Pythagoras and applying Pythagoras to the unit circle, to the triangle within the unit circle. So we're going to use this and that will help us by using Pythagoras' theorem. And we're going to use that to help us find cosine theta and then we're going to use this identity to find tan theta. Okay, so we know that sine theta is negative 0.6. So in this question we're doing negative 0.6 squared plus cosine squared theta is equal to 1, 
Negative 0.6 squared is 0.36. And therefore, cosine squared theta is equal to 0.64. Now, some of you might think, okay, so therefore, cosine theta is 0.8, because 0.8 multiplied by 0.8 is 0.64. However, it could be positive or negative 0.8, both of those squared given 0.64. But I also know that since theta is between 270 degrees and 360 degrees, which was one of the stipulations in the question, the, so the cosine curve has a specific value in that region. It is definitely positive or negative. You have to think about it. In the cosine curve, if I sketch out the cosine curve, which looks like this, where that's 360, that's 180, so that's 270. So in the region 270 to 360, the cosine curve is positive, and hence theta, sorry, cosine theta has to be positive 0.8 since we are in this region here, okay? Okay, so we now have cosine theta. Therefore, we have sine theta and cosine theta, and we can therefore find tan theta. So tan theta must be therefore equal to negative 0.6 over positive 0.8, which is negative 6 eighths or negative 3 quarters or negative 0.75, and that is the exact value of tan theta.